So uh, with that said, I want to get into a section as I, we get ready to get out of here. Uh, we we want to use about five, five, ten minutes to address some issues when it comes to disorders. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to bring to the podcast is talking about mental health disorders giving more context, giving more meaning, giving more insight into what they are and what they mean to us as black people. So today, uh, I'm calling this, this is my uh, changing the mentality section. Changing the mentality section is going to be about these disorders. And the first disorder we're going to talk about today is antisocial uh, disorder. So when you hear that in the hood, What's the first thing you think about when you think about antisocial? They don't want to socialize with somebody or they want to stay in the house. They don't want to be bothered. That is totally correct. When we think about antisocial in the black culture, that's what we think about, isolation. And it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Social anxiety is isolation. It's about isolating from people, things, things that you don't kind of jive with pretty much, things that make you feel uncomfortable, looking people in the eye, uh, not eating around people, not being around a large crowd, but antisocial personality disorder, that's what it's called, is all about conduct. So because I want you guys to learn and I want to educate you guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to read to you exactly what antisocial is, and I guarantee you most of us didn't even think about this. So antisocial disorder, personality disorder, disregard for right or wrong, persistent, lying, deceit, being callous, cynical, disrespectful, using charm to manipulate people, arrogance, a sense of superiority, extremely opinionated, reoccurring problems in the law, criminal behavior, report, uh, repeated violating rights of others, impulsiveness, failure to plan, hostility, significant irritability, agitation, aggressiveness, violence, lack of empathy, lack of remorse, uncertainty, risk-taking. Dangerous, poor, and abusive relationships. No, I'm not going to lie, but you got more? I got more, but I'm just saying this is yeah. antisocial. It's far from isolation as possible. Well, when you start reading that off, I'm not going to lie. I start thinking about black men, unfortunately. And I know probably a lot exactly. of black women that would say that that sounds like they boyfriend or they dad or they brother. So it's like it sounds like we carry a lot of those traits. Exactly. That's my whole point. That's my whole point. And that's why it's so important to educate others about what is happening with us as black men. And if we can really understand what's happening with us, we can be so much more productive in society and folks won't be afraid of us. To be honest with you, sometimes they have a right to be afraid of no, us. No, <laughs> they, no, they, no, we should be afraid of them. We, we, we should, afraid, no. It, it, I'm afraid of them. Exactly. You should be. We, yeah, we, we, we should be. We should be. Is. Because here's what... And everything they still doing. You, you know why they're afraid of us? It's because they feel that if we get the power that they have, that we're going to step on their necks in some... In a sort of... In, 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 a, in the best way I can put it, the simplest way I can put it, they feel that we're going to turn around and do what they did to us, to them. That's their biggest fear. Yeah. But but this is this is the whole thing though. We should still be afraid of them. We should we to some degree. The history. We we can't use that as a blanket indictment for either race. Neither one. Neither one. But there are people out there that we should be afraid of, and they are afraid of us, for no and reason. for no reason. Because they started it. Thank you for no reason at all. But this goes back again to our anger. This antisocial disorder. That reads us up and down because we deal with that. And if, if we're not careful, we need to watch for our young kids, our young boys specifically. Because when, we start, when, when you're a young person and you start to get into uh, stealing, you start to, to run from the cops, being disrespectful to teachers, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, being deceitful, being vindictive, that's a start of getting to being antisocial. There's levels to this thing. There's disruptive disorders. There are intermittent explosive disorders. There's conduct disorders. All these things lead up to antisocial personality disorder. And we find ourselves running in with the law all the time. Yeah. All the time. But here's what gets me about it. The one thing that gets me about it is as parents, we're ashamed. When our kids are struggling, when our kids are going through some stuff, we, we, we want to keep it in-house or we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to get them the proper help. We got to get away from that. Only way we can get better is we start educating ourselves and getting, the, getting our kids the help that they need. Young men being in uh, high school and only reading at a fifth or a sixth grade level, we need to be getting them help. Because what happens when you're reading at a fifth and sixth grade level and you become a freshman in high school, you can't do the work. So what are you going to do? You're going to cause trouble or you're not going to go to school. You're not going to get the help that you need because you're going to be embarrassed. Mm. All of this stuff goes back to being angry. So we got a, we got a lot of work to do. So as we get ready to get up out of here, and after we as we leave the mentality uh, corner, I ask that you know y'all support us. You Jay, what you got to say before we get up out of here? It was just he was preaching today. <laughs> he was preaching. I was, like, now I feel like I need to know what's going on so I can think about stuff. But like I don't I don't know what makes me angry because I don't. I get irritated, not necessarily angry. And that's that's a testament to you. If you get irritated and not angry, you got to understand that if you're not able to control that, it will become anger. So we have to be able to control it on a small scale because if we don't, we find ourselves getting it on a large, much larger scale and we can't control it. Well, people need to stop doing stupid stuff to make me irritated. That's well, that's say. stupid stuff can, according to you. That's your opinion. That's your subjective way of seeing things. That's me putting it and uh, blaming somebody else, right? Well, yeah, pretty much. Because here again, if you give them control and you say they are the ones that cause you to do X, Y, and Z, then you're giving your power away. We have too much power as young men, as young black men, to control what we deal with and what we go through. And so we got to make sure that we're cognizant of that, that we know what we can deal with. That's why you have to explore yourself. You have to really understand what you're dealing with and what you're struggling with and get the proper help. The best thing you can do is get someone that can help you use the skills that you already have. We have the skills to make change, to control our issues, control our anger, but we refuse to. We feel like we're, we're embarrassed or we're less than a man. This is what I hear a lot of. I feel like I'm less than a man if I let them do this or if I don't have control. Who told you that? So we have to make sure that we start to get in touch with who we are as a person and, and make sure that we're doing the work. The best thing you can do is get yourself an accountability partner. Get someone that you give them permission to say, hey, you're messing up right now. You need to stop. You need to chill out. You need to give somebody permission to do that. Yeah. So I want to thank y'all for joining Mentality Unchained. Hit me up on the podcast, Mentality Unchained. I um, going to hit you up on the podcast. You said that wrong. Take, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Don't hit us hit us up on the podcast because I don't know how you can do that. Well, I guess I'm old school then, huh? Definitely old school. <laughs> well, thank y'all for joining.